And Nancy is in Washington. Nancy, as we heard in your piece, both agencies deny there was any quid pro quo over Clinton's emails. Is that enough for the campaign, or are they likely to have to address this in a more head-on way? You know, Elaine, they'll probably uh, be able to distance themselves from this one particular charge. Uh, they're already trying to do it by saying that uh, they had no knowledge of this conversation between Undersecretary Kennedy and the FBI, and by pointing out, as you just noted, that both the FBI and the State Department note that at the end of the day there was no quid pro quo. So it's just murky enough that the Clinton campaign can probably set it aside. What they probably will have to answer for uh, are other details that we saw in those FBI documents today. Uh, an interview with a diplomatic security agent who uh, guarded Hillary Clinton and guarded her predecessor, Condoleezza Rice, who said that Clinton often disregarded flagrantly disregarded, in this agent's words, uh, diplomatic and security protocol, that when she would go overseas, for instance, uh, she wouldn't ride in the limousine with the U.S. ambassador who had been waiting for her, uh, who would then go into various events with her. Uh, they said this was common practice, but in Clinton's case, she just preferred to ride with her aide, Huma Abedin. This agent went on to say uh, that Clinton was uh, unkind to agents to the, to the point that uh, whereas it had once been a, a, a coveted role to serve on her private detail, on, on the details of other secretaries of state, by the end of her four years as secretary, it became a job that only younger diplomatic security agents wanted to do because the older ones didn't enjoy doing it, either overseas or uh, here at home in Washington and in Chappaqua, where she lived with Bill Clinton. The Clinton campaign can probably try to dismiss that as one disgruntled agent, but the fact is that it does fit in with some stories that we've heard over the years about Clinton's relationship with her security detail. Nancy, the latest CBS News poll has Hillary Clinton up by nine points nationally among likely voters. With three weeks until the election, what is the state of the Clinton campaign ahead of Wednesday's debate? Well, they think that there is absolutely nothing more important than these debates, uh, Elaine. And so they're willing to take a couple of knocks for having her uh, be down for a couple of days, focusing on debate prep because they feel that the upside is so extreme. You know, debates are always seminal events that can change the course of a race. And in this race, where so many people are watching to see this uh, epic clash between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump every single time, uh, they just feel feel that there's no rally that she could do uh, today or tomorrow that would have anywhere near the kind of impact that a strong performance in Wednesday night's debate could do. So uh, she was prepping near her Chappaqua home uh, today. She'll be heading out to Las Vegas tomorrow to kind of get uh, acclimate, acclimated to the time change. And then uh, she'll be involved in the debate on Wednesday night and then heading back out onto the campaign trail. Uh, and lastly, Nancy, as Donald Trump digs in with his claims of a quote-unquote rigged election, the Clinton campaign has reached out to supporters to serve as poll observers. What's been the campaign's response to Donald Trump's claims? They argue that it is the sign of a desperate man and a desperate campaign, uh, and that he's looking for a way to preemptively explain his loss. They argue, however, uh, that while it may make him feel better to say these kinds of things, that it really intimidates a lot of other people who want to go to the polls and cast their ballots on Election Day. They do worry uh, that people will get intimidated at the polls, that some Trump supporters will uh, take him literally and actually uh, go to polling places and make voters uncomfortably, particularly minority voters. Uh, so they say that this just means that they need to step up their efforts to, uh, to get out the vote to knock on doors, to call voters and make sure that they ignore uh, all the atmospherics and get out to vote regardless. All right. Nancy Cordes in Washington for us. Nancy, thank you. You're welcome.